Hey guys, look at what I got here. Brand new WTF rails. Thanks to Jeff from The Float Life. He donated these to support the best cause and we are going to show how to install these in my Vest Plus and how easy it is to reconfigure the Vest firmware to adjust for the changed angle of the controller. So let's get to it. All right, we got our assistant ready and let's take it apart. Actually, no. Ooh, that the rail guard is starting to come off. Okay. So all right, now it's time no. for the WTF rails. Let's see how we put those on. We're going dusty. This is a clean map before. Now it's all dusty everywhere. Wow! They even have inserts in here. Cool. Yes. No more stripping of the rails. Oh yeah, they do. Those are like insert inserts. They go wow. on like this, right? Beautiful. So, just look at where the... There's no front or back, right? I should know the... There is. There is. So it must be like this. This was upside down. So this goes here. Oh yeah, because it's upside and down. It goes there. And Should we unplug it? No, we're not gonna unplug it. We we could. We don't need to. We have the anti spark XT90. We could, but there's no need to unplug it. I'm gonna put it in my battery. I'm gonna put it in the battery box right Or should we dust it off first? Yeah. Let's dust off our box. Little bit. You want me to go up and get the uh, the air compressed air? No. Okay. Good. Right here to the sides where the rails go in. All right, now come the rails. Let's start with this side. You put your side in first. Okay. So let's give it a try. We didn't change anything yet. Let's see how it behaves without any firmware changes. Hmm. There we go. Oh, it feels. Wow, it looks so low. Pretty normal, actually. What the? You look very low to the ground. All right. So now going forward. So now, the only thing we have left to do is we need to adjust our IMU calibration. We don't have to go through the complete calibration process again. All we got to do is we go here to the IMU page and then the RPY tab at the bottom. And that gives us the roll pitch and yaw. And then we turn the live IMU data on. So now we can see that pitch in red is not at zero, but by at like four or five. So once we write the data back, yaw gets reset to zero. So we kind of have to do that every 
five to ten seconds or so so that the yaw numbers don't make our scale go way up. But it's pretty obvious that pitch is off by a good four degrees. So all we got to do is subtract, ah, there we go, adjust it, um, I'm writing again. So we subtract four and we'll just go minus 4.3 there and write that and boom, we are close to zero and um, I'm writing again every five seconds just so that we basically get the effect of zooming in and I will also zoom in here if I manage to use my touchpad here. All right, so we are pretty close to zero just below. So I would say that we should try something like minus 4.1. And now we're maybe a little bit above. And honestly, the, the point one degrees here, you're not gonna actually feel that. So we're already good. This is all just nitpicking. So now it looks like we're right on top of zero. So now it should be perfectly level in both directions. And that is it. So let's jump on the board and give it a try. So my uh, designated tester has left me, he got bored. So I gotta finish this on my own. What I like to do to test the IMU calibration is obviously going backwards and forward should feel the same, but then also doing a 180, you should come out of it without the nose lifted or lowered and um, both, whatever do you wanna call it, um, doing a, 180 U-turn, as well as doing a 180 and continuing in the same direction. So, let's do this. All right, feels perfect going one way. Feels just as good going the other way. Let me switch stands. Shouldn't feel any difference, essentially. All right, that feels good. And now if we do a 180, come out nice and clean, no issues. All right, now this move here. All right, I would say it all feels good. And essentially, if the IMU is well calibrated, you should be able to do this, and your nose should stay level. Whoa! I'm getting dizzy. Right. Can't go any further, or there will be an accident. But. I would say it's perfect. Uh, maybe one last test. I'll write it reversed and do the 180. Foot pads feel different because front and rear are different, but other than that, it feels good. 
All right. I think we got it. That was it. So we subtracted, what was it? 4.4 from the um, pitch angle and everything behaves the way you would expect in both directions and no need for a tilt kit or anything like that and uh, can't wait to try this thing out on the trails and yeah thanks again to Jeff and everybody at Float Life and I hope that you guys will get a chance to try this out yourself very soon.